I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my video on understanding strategy to find remainder, especially when we are given product of numbers. Here are two multiple choice questions. You can pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. We'll work out few examples and then get back to these questions, and we will see how they can be answered within a minute's time. So let's get into some examples to understand this strategy. Let us take few simple examples. The question is similar. It says, find the remainder for each of the following. We have four examples. The first one is very simple. 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 7. We need to find the remainder. Now, you could easily multiply them. So you get 9 times 8 is 72. And so, you know, this is 720. And when you divide 720 by 7, you get 7 times 1 as 7. You can bring down 2, 0, 0. And then we get 7 times 2 as 14. And we know that the remainder is 6. So that is simple. We can say that the remainder here is 6. However, we can make it slightly more complicated. And we could have a question something like this, where the numbers are so big that if you spend time in their multiplication and then division, then I'm sure uh, you will actually not be in a position to complete your test paper. Now, these are very popular questions in many competitive exams. We now need to understand a strategy to find the answer easily, right? So we'll discuss this strategy with the help of a simple example. Apply that strategy with these four questions and then solve the test question, correct? The strategy here is we can find remainder for individual items. So the strategy here is remainder for each. That is to say, if I divide 10 by 7, my remainder will be 3, right? 7 goes 1 time, so remainder will be 3. If I divide 9 by 7, in that case, the remainder will be 2. And if I divide 8 by 7, then the remainder will be 1, correct? Do you see that this remainder is actually product of these three remainders? So if I do the remainders product, r3 times r2 times r1, what do I get? I get actually 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So the answer matches, and that is always true. Correct? You should also remember that whenever you divide by 7, the remainder can be from 0 to 7, right? So you expect an answer which could include any number from 0 to 6, right? Less than 7. If it is 7, then 7 can be divided by 7, giving you a remainder of 0, right? So those are the possibilities. So what we found here was that you could calculate remainder for each individual and then multiply them. So that is the strategy which can be used whenever multiplication of numbers is given and you need to find the remainder, right? Let's apply this to the second question. Now here, if I divide 31 by 5, the remainder is going to be 1. 43 divided by 5, the remainder is going to be 3. And 29 divided by 5, the remainder is going to be 4, right? Because 25 goes fully and then 4 is the remainder, right? So the answer should be what? Well, you will say the answer is 1 time 3 times 4. So you'll write 1 time 3 times 4, which gives me 12. Well, remember, the remainder when you are dividing by 5 can only be less than 5, right? So it could be from 0 to 4, right? That is the range of your answer. You got 12. Well, 12 can be divided 
by 5 and then the remainder is 2 and therefore the answer should be answer should be only number 2 is that clear to you so that is how if by multiplication you get a number which is more than the expected remainder then divide further and get your answer is that clear to you now I think it's a good time to try C and D and then get back to our test questions right so let's do C and D now so if I divide 236 by 6 right 236 by 6 what do I get 6 times 4 is 24 but 3 is 18 so we get remainder of 5 bring down 6 6 times 9 is 54 so the remainder in this case is 2 so we get first remainder as equal to 2 the second one 647 when you divide this by 6 6 times 1 is 6 right so we get 4 0 7 6 times 7 is 42 the remainder is 5 the second remainder is 5 for us the third one 125 when you divide by 6 remainder is 5 right so we get 5 as the remainder now as we had thought about the remainder should be equal to what final remainder should be 2 times 5 times 5 which is 50 of course 50 cannot be the remainder so you can divide 50 by 6 now and then what is the remainder well 6 times 8 is 48 the remainder is 2 so we can write remainder of 2 right let me use another symbol here which we also use sometimes in mod so I'm not getting there but remainder is 2 so in this case our answer is 2 is that clear to you so the idea here is that you don't really have to multiply all the numbers and then divide right? you can do it individually right now let's go with 9 9 times 8 is 72 the remainder for the first one is 2 right the second one what is the remainder 9 times 2 is 9 times 1 is 9 and then we get 26 1 less than 27 so here the remainder is 8 and in this case what is the remainder 9 times 4 is 36 4 is the remainder so we are expecting remainder to be equal to 2 times 8 times 4 so we get what 32 double 64 right so actual remainder should be what 64 cannot be the remainder so you, now you can divide 64 by 9 you know 7 times 63 and the remainder is 1 so in this case answer should be 1 is that clear to you so that is the strategy now I hope the strategy is absolutely clear so when you multiply all the remainders the number if it is more than the divisor then you again divide what you got by the divisor to find the correct remainder perfect now let's take the examples and see how easily we can solve all such questions in our first example we need to find the remainder for 2439 times 6347 times 5124 when divided by 5 so we'll actually pick up the remainders for each individuals when you divide 2439 by 5 what is your remainder well the last number could be 35 4 is the remainder right so we get 4 as a remainder when you divide this number with 5 the other number when you divide by 5 47 is at the end 45 is fully divisible 2 is the remainder right in this particular case we could go through 20 to 0 but there is 4 here so 4 has to be the remainder so the final remainder is going to be product of all of them so which is giving us 8 times 4 which is 32 so you need to divide 32 by 5 to get the remainder clearly the remainder is equal to 2 and so the answer is C is that clear to you so it, this type of question could be done in less than a minute next one is dividing by 9 9 when you divide 6 3 2 9 times 7 is 63 so the remainder here is 2 right for the second one when you divide 170 by 9 9 times 2 is 18 which is one more than 17 
So we get 8 as our remaining. 8, 0 is 80. Well, 81 goes, so again 8 remains, right? Here, 5, 0, 3, when divided by 9, 9 times 5 is 45. 45, we get 53. 9 times 6 is 54, so again we get 8. It is one short of multiple of 9. So did you see how I calculated these remainders so easily, right? So that is the way. Now you can multiply these. You get 8 times 8 as 64 and then double it, right? So we get 64 times 2, which is 8, 128. And when you divide this by 9, basically we have to divide this by 9, what is the remainder? Well, in this particular case, 9 goes one time, right? And we get 38. 9 times 4 is 36. Remainder is 2. So the answer should be 2, right? So we get 2 as our answer. Is that clear? So that is how we could actually find the remainder when we are dividing the numbers multiples of the numbers by a divisor. So I hope you understand and appreciate this technique. Thanks for your time and all the best.